welcome back so in this video we'll be talking about microsoft azure active directory identities from az104 microsoft azure administrator so let's go ahead and start with the lab one so if i show you the architecture diagram from the github so this is the architecture diagram that uh, we're going to follow so under this particular azure edit tenant we'll be creating a user called uh, user1 and we'll be giving particular roles which is user administrator and uh, the relevant information which is a cloud uh, administrator as well as a uh, department is IT so using this particular role we'll be creating another uh, user which is user2 with uh, these specifications so let's go ahead and start the task one so if I go back here so I've already done it so let me show you how this is done so initially you have to click the Azure Active Directory so you can go back to the home and you have to click Azure Active Directory or you can search from here. So I'm just clicking Azure Active Directory and under the management pane, you can see there is user section. So click that. And we have different users here, which are already created. So we have to follow the same process. So if I click the new user, so there are two different options one is create user and one is invite user so you can also invite the users here so i have told in the previous videos you can uh, check them out so in this case we are going to create a user so let me add the user details here so i've already done it but uh, let me show you so this is the user id i'm getting error since he's already present in this uh, directory so i'm just clicking one and similarly you have to keep here and uh, make sure you create a you uh, create a password here some secure password so let me paste my password here done and here coming to usage location make sure you keep it as uh, us so basically the usage location informs the cloud uh, where the individual is centrally located. So in this case, we'll be dealing with United States. So just click United States and coming to the job roles. So if we check the architecture, the job role is cloud administrator and he belongs to the department IT. So we have to fill those details comment to the job title it's cloud administrator and coming to the department it's IT you can fill the other details if you want but I'm following the process so I'm just leaving here right now so I think everything is good so create oh okay I already created okay I've created it but uh, how I'll be deleting it because I'll be dealing with this particular user so if i click here now the second task is to assign the roles so if i go back here we have not assigned user administrator role right but however like there was an option whenever we were creating the role so if you go back so you can see there is a section called groups and roles even you can assign here if you want to add the particular person to specific groups or uh, the particular roles so it, even you can do that from here but uh, since i'm following the process let me show you how this is done according to the github so if i go back to the users so i've already assigned uh, to this particular user since i already created uh, user 11 so you can see assigned roles so I'll be assigned uh, the user administrator. So you can see the description. He can manage all the aspects of users and groups, including the resetting the passwords. Well, so you just need to click assign roles and click add assignments and select the specific role that you want. In this case, it's user administrator. So you have to click the user administrator and uh, it will be done. So we have completed for that and the next one is we have to go to the incognito mode and uh, there you have to log in with this particular user. 
so when you log in it will be asking for you to resetting the password so you have to create some other password so if i go to the incognito mode since i already done it it will be not uh, prompting to that particular uh, sections for me but however for you it will be prompting so make sure you create some other secure password and you can log into it so you can check the previous videos where uh, you can see the process how to create the MFN stuff so right now i'm just going here and uh, coming to the email id so make sure you copy and paste it from so if i go back so this is the user and uh, make sure you copy this and next and coming to the password let me add the password to sign in so you can see it's asking for the approval so i'm opening my authenticator app so that i can approve it which will take just in few seconds so so i have approved right away so you can see it will be redirected to the portal approved so i think it should be redirected now you can see here it has been uh, redirected so you can save or no in this case i'll just select no and uh, once in lo uh, you log into here similar you have to create a user for that you have to go to the active directory so if you check you have to create the user too with this particular job title and uh, department it so if I go back, if I go to the Azure Active Directory, go to the user section, and uh, since uh, this particular user is a user administrator, we can create the user. So you can create new user and uh, add the specific roles. In this case, it's user two. Let me copy and paste that. Since it's already done, I'm not doing it again, but I'm just showing you how this is done. And you can fill the details if you want to, but uh, I'm not doing it. So let me create a password and add a secure password. And you can also see, you know, we can uh, keep this particular user into certain groups or we can assign the user uh, roles here and coming to the usage location it should be united states so you can click united states and coming to the job title it's system administrator so if you click system administrator and the department would be it so once it's done you just need to click create it's not uh, showing me since i have not filled the details here the password and stuff so So you can see the user has already been created if you check yeah the user has been already been created using this particular uh, role user administrator role so that's it for now so in the next section we'll be talking about creating azure ad groups uh, with uh, assigned and dynamic memberships so i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you like the video please click the like button below and if you're not a subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thank you